Alright everyone, welcome back to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and today we're back in NASCAR Heat 5, my team mode. So, we got Indianapolis coming up and we got to get our team ready to go and as you can see, it's probably not going to be very fun, but oh well, we'll have to see what we can do. Alright, so we got our work plan enacted there and uh, that's definitely looks pretty pretty cool so anyways guys want to thank you all for watching this series definitely let me know what series are your favorite on the youtube channel let me know if there's uh, any video series you would like to see uh by the way let me know if you want to see like a wreck fest uh gaming series let me know about that that might be kind of fun but anyways guys we got racing to do so let's get into it so let's go Alrighty, here we are at Indianapolis on the original beautiful oval, which will be lots and lots of fun. So, I'm going to get our setup to a bit of a loose setup here because unfortunately this track does drive very tight. Actually, we're going to go a little bit looser just because of how tight this track does run. And we're just going to skip our practice and our qualifier and going to go straight into the race. So, let's go. Alright, Jeffrey Earnhardt hasn't been doing well. Brandon Brown's team failed optical scanning. And Marco Net is your pole winner. Big surprise there. Alrighty, about to go racing here, and here we go. Let's see, we got six laps remaining in this stage. Nice little six lap shootout. See how the car drives. The car drives pretty good there. We're we'll to be careful with extra cars around just because I didn't know how it was gonna handle. Okay, now we're going going up. Not exactly what I want. I'm gonna move you guys a little closer to here. There we go. So I got a bit of a sinus drainage issue, which is messing up my voice and uh, messing up my throat a bit so uh, I'm going to try not not uh, speak too loudly or else I might have a bit of an issue but uh, other than that feeling very wonderful I was a bit sick uh, I think it was a few weeks ago now and wow that changed things really quick Wow. Okie dokie. I'm not really sure what to say there, guys. Uh, but yes, yeah, so as I was saying, wasn't feeling a few, wasn't feeling too good a few weeks ago, and uh, luckily feeling fairly good now. Just got the stupid drainage hanging around, so that's annoying. But anyways, I'm gonna try and muddle through here and see what we can do. So we're heading out to Kentucky now with the truck series, and then uh, so now we have a double header. At Kentucky is what's going on now. Is that's um, yeah, I'm not sure how we're gonna work that, but anyways, we're gonna get our truck team upgraded. Um, everybody working here. Get our let's see. That is gotta remember what's already reached. The tippy top of everything, what I do need and what I don't need to upgrade. Let's see, do I have. Okay, I got some other guys. There we go. I'm trying to remember what all I need to do here. Let's see, go to teammates. This guy right here, I can train really quick, so he's up to spec now. Let's see, I still have a little work to. We'll put him on that truck just to make sure he's still working. But anyways, uh, there we go. We got we got trucks working on and stuff. A little bit more money. We should be able to upgrade one of our uh, 
one of our departments with better equipment and stuff here in a bit. Anyways, now we're heading to Kentucky for the 225 buckle up in your truck race. So let's head on over there and see if we can uh, not DNF into the wall here. Alright, so here we are back at Kentucky. We're going to switch up to here. I'm going to go to a... Uh, Yeah, semi-loose setup for this track. See if we can't get some uh, a little bit of wheel spin in the rear off the corners, and that should hopefully help us out. So let's try and race this time without wrecking. Uh, hopefully, so let's go. I do kind of like the challenge of starting off with a handicap because one is like I'm not really doing much with the setup of the truck. Uh, I've never been that good at uh, setups overall. I can usually get like the tire pressures where I want them and a little bit in the suspension to where I want it. But when it comes to like engine gear and stuff like that, I, I very rarely can get a good uh, truck setup going on. But anyways, uh, being able to get. Uh, the suspension to around where I like it for a track that's about as much as I can do it but then also starting in the back on these races as well definitely makes it uh, an interesting handicap to start a race with especially with the uh, equipment that I have like in the Xfinity series uh, currently and so just it makes things interesting here Chuck oh, spinning out there Uh, we have an 8 lap shootout here, we got 10 laps of fuel, so we're doing good on all of that. And we're moving our way up pretty good here. Everybody's kind of going low and I need to enter these corners a little bit better. Need to have a smooth entry, not that weird, uh, whatever that just was. Honestly, it's kind of sad not to uh, see racing at Kentucky. Honestly, there's a lot of tracks it's kind of sad not to see uh, getting raced at again. Definitely seems like, uh, whoa, 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 loose, loose, loose. Wow. Trying to have a check coming in, trying to wreck, wreck us out and put us in a DNF. It definitely seems like with the uh, the racing schedule currently uh, for the Cup Series and other series, it seems like you really could just uh, stop having repeat races almost. Now, obviously, like with the Super Speedways, where you only have currently, anyways, uh, not counting Atlanta, only f two real Super Speedway tracks. It makes sense why you have those repeating. But like with the intermediates, it's like I don't know why. Um, you have Atlanta and uh, Kansas and um, I think there's another one on the list as well, like Charlotte. Uh, well, Charlotte, yeah, we really do one over race in Charlotte now. But still, just I don't, I don't know why we have repeat um, intermediate races. But you could simply just do um, one at the intermediate tracks and so that way we could get like uh, Chicago and um, Kentucky back on the schedule. Because obviously that helps the local as we get loose here helps out the local um, the local people around the tracks uh, financially but it also helps to uh, spread NASCAR a little bit uh, in those areas and so just it's interesting it's like okay so why do we repeat in Kansas why do we repeat in um, uh, whatever that other track I mentioned before, Atlanta. Why do we repeat at Atlanta so many times and uh, we can't keep Kentucky or um, the other tracks on? Seems like we could spread things out a little bit more amongst the tracks. But that, of course, is my opinion. And uh, it's just it's kind of sad to see so many tracks not getting used 
suddenly again. It's kind of sad, honestly. Even if they didn't have really good, like, good racing at the tracks, it is, it's just sad to see a racetrack go from being used to just sitting. It's, it's something I really don't enjoy seeing. Especially when you have the options of being able to turn the track into a roval, something like that. So, just thinking along those lines, is like, it's kind of sad not to have racing here in Kentucky. But, anyways, we're going to finish in the top 16. Not too bad, not too good, but uh, we will take it for what it is. Alright, gonna pit here, gonna get us uh, tires and everything. Not gonna switch everything, anything on the truck. The truck feels like it's doing fairly decent. And so I just need to get good head in the game. Haven't done this for uh, two weeks. Two weeks. I have not raced any, so uh, getting the head back into the game on this uh, feel wise is kind of interesting. So. So as you know guys, almost all the content you see is pre-recorded. I very rarely do anything day of unless it's like a uh, reaction to like a uh, DLC or um, something else. But it's very rarely day of recording that I put a video up just because uh, schedule-wise it's just I can't, I can't do that. It just doesn't really work out for me. So a lot of it's pre-recorded and so that helps me space the videos out so you guys can get content uh, on a regular basis which has really worked out because uh, I don't know what it was but just voice wise uh, and nasal nasal wise with the um, voice and everything was not working out for like the last week and even this week isn't uh, super good but at least my brains in the game anyways so anyways but yeah, that definitely helped out, so I could spread videos out over a few days and uh, be able to keep content going up on the channel for you guys to be able to see. So, and as I said, guys, uh, let me know uh, if there's uh, any content you'd like to see or any ideas for content that you might uh, think that I should try. Uh, you can leave those in the comments, and by the way, I do read them. doesn't mean that I'm going to do them. It just means that, hey, uh, uh, if you guys have an idea uh, that's definitely interesting for me to look at and be able to toss around in my brain so alrighty so we are in 11th we got four laps the four laps remaining here truck hasn't really shown a whole lot of speed it's, it definitely handles well but like as you can see right here, these trucks are uh, driving away from me pretty well. They're not having much of an issue. There we go. Okay, that that got me up a little bit further. I got some tire wear going on with that uh, right front. So definitely have to watch that. Yeah, these guys are really doing good driving away. Also, I haven't driven to Texas, uh, Can uh, Kentucky. Texas, Kansas, Kentucky. That's, that's a new track. The Texas, Kansas, Kentucky track. That's a, that's a new one. Anyways, haven't driven at Kentucky in a while in this game, so that's uh, another handicap going on here. But anyways, definitely seems like these guys are doing a pretty good job just driving away from me, not really having much of an issue. So definitely need to work on the engine department probably. But still running 11th without any issue really is uh, definitely nice. Definitely seems like uh, Sheldon Creed back here is staying pretty close to me. So could be potentially somebody that could pass me here in a bit. But uh, truck's definitely handling good so definitely like that. Not having any issues with the truck overall, just for some reason. Not enough speed to go up there and uh, move the position up as the truck tries to spin on me. That was fun. Yeah, tires just wearing out.
as we will improve our position and finish in 11th for stage 2. Alright, and we have gained spots on pit road. That's where we're gaining a lot of spots. We've gained uh, eight spots so far just on pit road alone. And uh, that is certainly helping us in the long term. We have 19 laps remaining in this stage, 12 laps of fuel. There will be a green flag pit stop uh, minus the caution. And we will see how that all goes as we race around here, three wide. Gotta watch his around me here. Alright, currently running about fifth, but yeah, these guys definitely have uh, brought a bit more horsepower to this track than we have. Which is perfectly fine, just uh, nice to know that. Getting up in the wall a little bit there. Bring on back down, almost take out uh, Zane Smith. Move up, there we go. Alright, move back to like 7. Alright, there we go. So we got a good entry into the turn. Just need a truck not to be in our way when we do it. Oh yeah, Sean Creed has some speed here, but we're gonna just sweep into the turn, there we go, reapply throttle well, it's a fairly good, fairly good corner there this one is the biggest one, so let's see, get underneath the Zane here the Zane stays in our way, so that's not going to help us or him but he's going to cross us over there And we're going to keep on racing. John Sada down there, there he goes. And Johnny Sada goes for a spin. Amazingly, he doesn't hit anything, so that will not bring out a caution. So we will be able to continue. There's Sheldon Creed. And Austin Wayne Self also moving up here into the top 10, so good job by that team. Joan Creed obviously had an issue, probably some fluid in that turn because uh, the guy beforehand had the same issue. I'm surprised we haven't seen a caution due to uh, calls of fluid on the track, but uh, sometimes that's how it works. We'll be into the wall there. Moved up a little bit. Wasn't the best uh, turn entry, but not too bad. That was a little bit better. Also, Wayne Self's having a great run on that top lane, though. Not sure if we have anything for him. Also, Wayne Self has the run on the top lane. We're not going to really fight that too much. Just going to keep working our lane here and see what comes to us. And up a little bit higher. That's not going to do too much for us. We're going to slide in here. Get a nice draft. Go 
get us past Austin Wayne so far. It's an awesome run. Might get past, actually. How good that run is. We're still working on Zane Smith here. And he continues to ride that bottom lane. He refuses to give it up here as we almost go for a spin there. Could have been bad. Giving him a bit of a bump. Let's see, three laps of fuel remaining. Tires are in critical condition. Or near critical. So keeping an eyeball on that. Currently we can pit and be able to make it all the way on fuel. And we got a truck spinning. See if that brings out a caution or not. And we're going to stay out currently as uh, we don't know if a caution is coming out or not. Looks like all that's cleared up. Amazingly, no caution. Honestly, it's rather surprising. Looks like they looked like they had been two trucks stuck on the back stretch. Yeah, we will be pitting this time by. All right, we got four tires and one and a half cans of fuel. There we go, excellent stop by the pit crew, getting us out. And we are back underway here at Kentucky. So all of these other guys that they've been saving their tires had about three laps of fuel remaining when we pitted, so Look to see a few guys coming and pitting here and there. Quite a few guys starting to hit pit road now. We've got to watch out for these guys in front of us as we have fresh tires and they don't. We're taking nice and easy around all of them. Make sure that we can get to the end of this race. Luckily during that pit stop they were able to toss me in a nice warm a cup of hot chocolate, which I was able to enjoy, and uh, worked out very well, able to help with the throat issue. We've moved up to 25th. So uh, we are one lap down currently. The lead truck of Ross Chastain has come in, so I'm not sure where that's going to put us as we come around here. It's going to get us a lap back right there. We have gone back to the 10th position, gotten past Sheldon Creed, which gets us in the 9th position. See here, Todd Gilliland, Zane Smith, can see him up there. So we're working on getting to those guys, hopefully. Ross Chastain is starting to come back onto the racetrack, it looks like. Yeah, he's already on there. Currently three laps or so remain, 
And it looks like 8th is about where we're going to finish unless we get some sudden speed. Or uh, caution. Three laps remaining. Seem to be catching up a bit to Zane Smith. Is that going to be able to reel him in? Hopefully, here. <clears throat> And we will finish the race at Kentucky in 7th. Very nice job to the team. They did brought an awesome truck. We were able to hang on and get to 7th. Very well done. And you're finishing. Your winner is Brett Moffat, Austin Hill. Won your stages. Matt Crafton, Ross Chastain, Austin Wayne Self in 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And you also have Gustine who rounds out the top 10. Alright everyone, and so next time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the video on down here, but we'll be heading back to Kentucky for the Xfinity race, and we'll be racing that. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, I'm going to go rest my voice here for a bit, and then probably get this uh, next race here done. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you want to support the Commission Gamer YouTube channel, you can find out how over at the Ko-Fi page. And if you just want to follow over there too, that will be nice as well. Thanks guys for watching, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.